Park in New York and behind the Metropolitan Museum of Art, modern art itself. Here we have the obelisk itself, which is an Egyptian obelisk from the 18th dynasty, Tutmosis III, it was given to Julius Caesar, or as for Julius Caesar from Augustus. And this is what I was saying earlier about the connection between Central Park and the Park Central and the experience itself in Orlando. Whereas the 18th Dynasty, when the billboard sign appeared, was King's Tut, Tut Tutmosis, is the great grandfather, same dynasty. Now, all this was connected. Now, I've been to Egypt, but everything kept pointing back to Central Park. The last time I was here, which is on 96th Street, when I lived here. This has been 33 years. And here again, it's 33 years from the time of coming through Central Park in 1981. This happened to be now, 33 years later, that I'm here. And as I see, they call this thing Cleopatra. Nita, which Cleopatra had nothing to do with the construction of these obelisks, which in Orlando, you'll see these now in the Millennia area, where I said it meant resurrection. Washington, D.C., you have the Washington Monument, which is 555, which I said was connected to the layout in Orlando. Here we have a 3,500 year old obelisk with the writings on it, which is not stone, the spirit stone itself, speaking, connecting, bringing me back to this point to come see for myself, to hear me talk in front of this obelisk, which I say is connected to the experience of the Stargate. And in a little bit, I'm going to show you a connection that kind of confirms what I'm saying, which is not too far from here. But here it is. So right now, it's going under some restoration. Same thing that happened with the Washington Monument. They did some restoration work and they had a scaffold around it for years. So at this point in time, it's being worked on. So this is about as close as I can get. But it's a lot closer than I was able to get prior to this. Again, Central Park. I knew there was a reason why I had to come back and come here for my vacation. 2014, this day, August 23rd, which is the same day that the sign was erected from the vision, from the experience in 1996, visiting 96th Street. 33 years ago since then, here I am, connecting this obelisk back to the experience in Orlando, 1996, 96th Street, Egyptian obelisk, comedic, spiritual connection, going to Egypt, coming home from Egypt, to three houses, the Orion, 18th dynasty, repeatedly, Sun Trust, the Sun Rays, Akhenaten, all it is connected, back to here. I think these are just stones and writings for no reason place that I grew up, lived, connecting to this, connecting to the fact that Augusta, dealing with St. Augustine, 
Florida, where the first settlers, European settlers came to the United States, were connected St. Augustine as to Augusta. This is connected to Augusta, connected to Orlando, the Three Lakes, Dade Pyramids, all connecting to this one thing. Back to back, unbroken chain. Florida, the Lotus Flower, New York, Empire State, Macy's, New York, Bloomingdale's, New York, the Millennium Mall, the two anchors, the object I said looks like the mall itself, all is connected, Bloomingdale's founded in New York, Macy's founded in New York. The obelisk is all around the Mlinny area. Back to this. Back to what I was saying. The Washington Monument. All of these connected. No unbroken chain. From birth all the way. Growing up on Commander Avenue. Commander Avenue, George Washington. Washington Avenue. Back to Commander-in-Chief, Washington, D.C. 